right guys, just got on the trail, uh, about to hit it. Got the Subi parked at the trailhead. Today we're at the Appalachian Trail in Thompson Wildlife Management Area. I'm gonna hike in for eight hours. You know, I'm just gonna keep moving until it gets dark. I wanna see how much ground I can cover in that amount of time. A lot of road noise right next to the highway right now. Again, Thompson WMA headed north towards Sky Meadows State Park. We are just north of the Shenandoah Mountains right now. You can see we're right here. Heading north, this is Thompson Wildlife Management Area. This is Sky Meadows State Park, and these are the Blue Ridge Mountains in Pennsylvania. So we're headed north, we're seeing how far we can go. We're seeing how far we can go in a eight hour period. All right, now that I got a little further away from the road, I can talk a little bit more. Um, today's goal, hike in, uh, probably eight hours until it gets dark. The goal today is to cover ground pretty much. I just wanna have a break off hiking session now that the weather's actually getting a little bit nicer. I can enjoy it a little bit more. So. I'm just putting down some miles. It's not all about the scenery, this one. It's all about distance that we can cover in a certain amount of time. If I can get 20 miles between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be really happy. So sometimes these uh, more popular trails, they're Kind of sucks when you have to hike them on the weekend and with it never fails whenever you're within three miles of the trailhead there's always groups of people that are just so slow and it's always the awkward encounters when you have to walk by them and they like they see you behind them and they just don't give way and you're just walking like trying to get past them and they're just sitting in front of you walking at a quarter mile per hour that's why it sucks hiking these really popular trails. A cool little bit of history in this area. Um, some of the Revolutionary War was fought in this area and the engineers would build up these big stone walls to get kind of cover from the enemy, so to say. And this trail goes right along one of those walls that the engineers built. So I just passed a uh older gentleman on this trail and he's asking me about my hike and you know where I was going and stuff normal and then he asked me he's like hey what's your trail name and I was like well, what do you mean and he's like your trail name and I was like oh I just I guess I don't have one I guess I'll have to think of one and he said his was now or never and that your trail name has to reflect something stupid that you do on the trail and I was like this is all new to me so I got to think of a trail name now said his was now or never I'm so uh this winter I came here and went and did some bear hunting and I'm actually coming up on the shelter that I stayed at when I was on that bear hunt trip I'm gonna go check out the log book I know there's a freshwater spring there as well Gonna top off on water, check out the log book, and take my first break. Manassas Gap Shelter, Appalachian Trail. It's funny on the bear hunt I actually did try to record my bear trip but it was like negative degrees and my batteries froze up my camera battery lasted me about 20 minutes and I also didn't get a bear and it was really boring so I just didn't record any of it but Manassas Gap Shelter 
really nicely built shelter. And I'm actually gonna check out the log book. Cause I know I signed the log book. It might have been, there it is, look. Tony Schimmick. On a black bear hunt for two days, staying here tonight, gone tomorrow. There's a section after the shelter where it comes to more of a service road and it makes it seem like you need to stay on that service road when you're actually supposed to branch out to the right. So when you're on this trail, just make sure you stick on the Appalachian Trail because I referenced the GPS and if I did stay on that service trail, it would bring me to a trailhead um, west and right next to the highway. And that'd be pointless and be a waste of time and a lot of backtracking. So, make sure you stick to the white blaze. So I took the tower trail loop and it pretty much just brings you out to a trailhead for the AT with some pretty good information on it. it talks about Thompson Wildlife Management Area and the trailhead and exactly where you are. It's pretty cool. Taking a quick lunch break. It's about one o'clock, a little after one o'clock right now. Found this nice little rock. And I'm gonna make up some food, eat it, and then hit the trail. All right, people, halfway done. About to head back. I decided not to stay overnight just to get a good workout in today. I'm going to use tomorrow morning to go out fishing. It's supposed to be about 60 degrees tomorrow. So I'm really hoping the water's warmed up. The past three days has been about 60 degrees. I hope the bass are out being active. Maybe they're in pre-spawn starting to bed down. I'm not sure. But I got my pack here. I'm going to start headed back. It's probably going to take me about four hours. So I'll get with you along the way. Manassas Gap Shelter. Beautiful little camp area. Alright, took a little break at the Manassas Gap Shelter. Um, last break of the trip, we got a two mile leg back to the car. And after I complete that two mile leg, we'll be at just over 10 miles. Actually, I think it's about 11 miles total for today's hike. Time check currently 15.09. Started, we started at I think 9.30. I'll have to check the time exactly. But yeah, probably about an hour and a half less of this hike, two more miles. And then we're gonna call it a day. So let's get kicking. All right, final stretch right here, this bridge. That'll take us right into the parking lot. You can hear that noisy road from a mile away. It's a pretty little creek. And that is a wrap 
for the Thompson WMA Appalachian Trail. Um, going to be headed back down south an hour. So, video is going to be up soon. Knees are a little tired. Uh, it was about 11 miles total today. I spent uh, six hours on the trail. But it was a good time, so it's a good video. Really looking forward to posting it. And uh, yeah, I'm out, so I'll see you later.